16 below in Pontiac. Wind chill advisory for our entire viewing area for tonight and goes through noon tomorrow. So we're going to be talking about dangerously cold temperatures here over the next 24 to 36 hours. We will see numbers slipping to around zero at midnight below zero when you wake up tomorrow morning and we stay frigid all day long. We're going to talk much more about this coming up. But first, your news starts right now. Tonight, Caterpillar is facing a new legal issue, the informal investigation digging into international cash flow for the company. And sounding off on immigration, what local congressmen are saying about the hot button issue. Taking action for you. This is WMBD 31 News at 6. Governor Rauner releasing his budget plan for the state of Illinois today. Republicans say they are pleased with the straightforward plan, while Democrats are voicing their concerns over the drastic cuts coming all across the state. We'll have reaction from both sides of the aisle a little bit later in the show. That's right, but first, right now, we're joined by Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bailey. Marcus, what can you tell us about these dangerously cold temps heading our way? Well, it is already cold right now, Paula Maria, and it's only going to get colder as now we lose the sun and that Arctic air settles in. I mentioned this at the top of the show. Wind chill advisory in effect area-wide goes until noon on Thursday, the current temperatures again with the wind chills as cold as 16 below, 15 below in some spots, and these numbers only will get colder through the rest of the overnight tonight. In fact, future track taking us into the overnight hours and more importantly to the morning drive, 20 to 25 degrees below zero. Those are the wind chills when you're heading out the door, and then we stay below zero all day long. On top of that, we could see near record cold, not for tonight, but tomorrow. The forecasted high temperature of around 8 could beat the coldest maximum temperature for tomorrow's date. That is 7 back in 1903. So that's what we're going to be watching here short term. So dangerous cold here over the next 36 hours. Some relief is on the way. We'll talk about that and the potential for some weekend snow. We'll break that down in my full forecast. But first, meteorologist Rachel Kay is braving the elements and has more for us. Rachel. Marcus, it is cold out here. The thermometer I've got right outside the station actually reads 10. Of course, it feels much colder. And with this kind of weather, the main concerns are frostbite and hypothermia. And it's not just the cold temperatures. The wind actually evaporates moisture off of your skin and takes your body's heat with it. That's why it's so important if you're going outside, even for a short time, to make sure to cover as much of your body as you possibly can. But despite the cold, we did manage to have some fun with things that are okay to freeze. We went to the grocery store for inspiration. We're going to see what we can get to freeze outside. I was looking at the grapes because I think frozen grapes are delicious, but they are a little small, so maybe bananas. These ones look good. We'll get a bunch of three, and then maybe I can peel one of them, eat that. Frozen candy's got to be delicious, right? So. We'll try a couple peanut butter eggs. We added to the experiment some hot coffee, a bottle of water, and a jacket, then set up in the parking lot right outside the station. All right, we're at about the two hour mark and we're gonna check on our frozen items so far here. Looks like the coffee, which was hot, is just starting to freeze. Bottle of water, two hours. I think this is frozen solid completely all the way through. Banana is absolutely frozen solid. And the jacket itself, I mean, you can hear that cracking. It, it's frozen solid to the fence post. And the peanut butter egg, but still soft and chewy inside. Delicious. Four hours in now, we are going to take another check at our experiment. The coffee looks like, uh, oh, still kind of crunchy at the bottom of the cup, but the top inch or so is about frozen solid. And the water bottle is so frozen now that the bottom's popped out and it actually won't stand up. And the peanut butter egg was still soft enough to break in half. Now, just because it's okay to put food outside doesn't mean you should be out. The Peoria Fire Department is reminding people that warming centers are available. We've got a list on screen of some of the warming centers in Peoria and Bloomington for those without heat. That includes Peoria Fire Stations, the Peoria Police Department, and certain Salvation Army locations. And for those of you at home who might be wondering, the coffee is now frozen solid. I cannot bend the styrofoam cup at all. All the heat is gone from this. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Rachel, thanks so much. Heroin, cocaine, marijuana, all found at an in-home daycare in Bloomington. On Tuesday, February, uh, the Bloomington Police Department Street Crimes Division said that they arrested 52-year-old Paul Tenge for finding suspected heroin, cocaine, marijuana, prescription pills, and scales. His home in the 900 block of West Olive Street is used as an in-home daycare. 
The State Department of Children and Family Services has been notified. Tench is currently in the McLean County Jail. Big Yellow facing a new legal issue, this time in U.S. District Court. WMBD's Hannah Hilliard joins us now in the studio. So, Hannah, what's the problem? Well, news about the grand jury subpoena surfaced after Caterpillar mentioned it in its annual report to the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC. The subpoena asked CAT for financial information about how cash was moved between its U.S. and foreign subsidiaries. This subpoena comes after the SEC launched an informal investigation into CAT prompted by a Senate report. It said Caterpillar avoided paying more than $2 billion in U.S. taxes through the creation of a company in Switzerland known as Seasarl. Cat's not saying whether the investigations are connected, but Big Yellow says it's cooperating. Now, this all comes as the company is gearing up for a big announcement later this week. The company plans to release the results of the corporate headquarters study Friday morning at 10 at the Caterpillar Visitor Center. Maria. All right, Hannah, thanks so much. Bloomington's mayor could soon be getting a public reprimand. It's a story from our Twin Cities newsroom for you tonight. Mayor Terry Renner wrote a letter to blogger Diane Benjamin, which council members and other city officials are calling inappropriate. On Friday, council's holding a special meeting where they'll address the outburst. Renner has since apologized to Benjamin for the letter. Benjamin ran for county auditor and started writing about city issues three years ago. Renner is also scheduled to speak and meet with the media after. State politicians reacting to major news in the ongoing debate over illegal immigration. The Department of Homeland Security was supposed to begin accepting applications for temporary legal status from undocumented immigrants who came to the U.S. as children. But a federal judge sided with 26 states and blocked President Obama's immigration program, which was an executive order. Congressman Aaron Schock supports the federal judge's ruling, saying more needs to be done. While borders are important, the reality is 5 million of the 12 million, million who are here illegally came here on illegal work visas. So you got to fix the visa program as well. Senator Dick Durbin released the following statement regarding that judge's decision. Quote, this ruling is wrong and will temporarily halt these critical pro-family programs, but legal precedent is on our side, and I'm confident that it will be overturned. Well, now that Governor Bruce Rauner has released his budget plan for Illinois, local lawmakers have their first chance to weigh in on what's expected to be a contentious debate. WMBD's Capitol Bureau Chief Matt Porter is live in the House chambers where the governor spoke earlier today. Matt, what are our representatives saying? Well, Bruce Rauner's speech had Republicans celebrating. They say it's the first time in almost a decade they've gotten a straight answer out of the governor's budget. Meanwhile, across the aisle, Democrats were far less jubilant. They're concerned about some pretty drastic cuts. Now, Republicans say Illinois' fiscal reality means tough cuts for services in the state. They tell me it's all about being realistic. Now, while Democrats like Rauner's emphasis on elementary and secondary education, they think some of his cuts go too far. A spending plan that lives within the reality, the limited means, the limited resources that we receive from taxpayers. But without a large vision as to where he's trying to take us to, it's going to be very hard to get behind some of these ideas. Well, Speaker Michael Madigan responded with a press conference following the speech. He said he doesn't think the state can solve its deficit without new revenue. He also called the governor's pension proposal reckless. Now, many lawmakers felt the governor gave a campaign speech more than one of substance. There's still a lot of details left to be resolved. Uh, uh, Illinois Senate President John Cullerton says, now despite all these massive cuts, the math still doesn't seem to add up. One thing's for sure, in the next three months, we're going to see some heat a debate and that this budget will probably change many times before it's passed. Live in Springfield, Matt Porter, WMBD 31 News. Illinois State University President Larry Dietz isn't very happy with the possible cuts heading toward his university. Speaking to the nearly 31 percent cut for higher education, Dietz says this is obviously disturbing news for our campus community and other public universities across Illinois. He goes on to say, throughout the process, I want to assure you, protecting the jobs of our outstanding faculty and staff is our highest priority. We will do everything we can to prevent measures such as layoffs and forced furlough days. Still ahead, Easter seals. But first, Marcus. 
Frigid temperatures across central Illinois for today. It is pretty looking right now with the sunset. It just does not feel too nice and it's going to be really rough when you're heading out the door tomorrow morning. We're going to talk about the brutally cold air for tomorrow and possibly some weekend snow chances. That's coming up. You're watching WMBD 31 News at 6 with Paul Cicchini, Maria Chandler, Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bailey with your local weather authority forecast and Kurt Pegler with sports. This is WMBD 31 News at 6. When we stopped selling the cheeseburger pizza, boy did I hear about it. And Big Bill 7 writes, are you kidding me? No more cheeseburgers on a pizza? Are you kidding me? They're back, Big Bill, with bacon. Are you kidding me? Introducing the new Bacon Cheeseburger Pizza. Get a large for $12. And add our new double chocolate chip brownie for only $6 more. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. It's good. Truth Talk with Frank. Big Cable raised its rates consistently for 18 years. Frontier gives a three-year price guarantee with no contract and no rate hikes. That's the truth. Get the speeds you need and the service you deserve with Frontier High Speed Internet for $19.99 per month with qualifying phone service. The truth will set you free from Big Cable. Make the hassle-free switch to a company that tells the truth. Call 1-888-FRONTIER today. At Unity Point Health, we do things a little differently. Our doctors put together a team around what each patient needs. It might be a dietitian, a specialist, a nurse in your home, or even community services. Coordinated care is about considering all the options and choosing a treatment plan with one thing in mind, you. That's coordinated care. That's Unity Point Health. The point of unity is you. More excitement. More adventure. More tunes. More versatility. America's most exciting lineup is at your local Nissan store now. And now's the best time to get yours. Choose from 15 models with 0% APR financing for up to 60 months. Or lease the 38 MPG Highway Altima, just $189 per month. Get to Nissan now. Offers end March 2nd. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Innovation that excites. Now, your local weather authority, WMBD 31 Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bailey. Brutally cold air racing through central Illinois, only going to get colder as we head deeper into the overnight live look now at our Borsberry Law Office's camera. The numbers tough to look at. It's six right now in Peoria. Winds are out of the northwest at eight. That's actually an improvement. It was very blustery early on this morning. The winds will continue to relax, but when you're this cold, it does not take much to really send the wind chills plummeting. Here are the temperatures and the wind chills right now. Three with a wind chill of 15 below in Lakin. The coldest wind chill we have so far, Pontiac at 17 below. Feels like 15 below in the Twin Cities. Feels like 16 below in LaSalle, Peru. And those numbers only going to get colder as we get closer to the morning drive tomorrow. Wind speeds pretty steady, 10 to as high as 20 miles per hour. But again, these should start to relax at least a little bit. They'll still be there, but not nearly as strong as what we had from this morning. Storm tracker radar, pretty quiet. There's a few flurries in and around portions of the area. This will likely move to the east as another boundary is mixing out uh, into Indiana. You see some pretty decent snow showers now over towards Indianapolis to Fort Wayne. The lake effect snow machine going in in western Michigan and then some snow showers just south of Cincinnati. It is clear out to the west and that's what we'll be tapping into here for the rest of the overnight. Wind chill advisory area wide for tonight and last until noon tomorrow. So here's the hourly planner as we head through the overnight. We will slip below zero after midnight with the actual air temperature waking up to around five below. But look at the wind chills. About as cold as 17 below here in Peoria. I think some areas are going to be colder than that with the wind chills when you're heading out the door tomorrow morning. Nine below in Galesburg, eight below in Lake and seven below in Pontiac, five below in Bloomington. Here's what future track is spinning out as far as the wind chills by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, 20 to 25 degrees below zero. So that's going to be a tough start to your Thursday morning and not a lot of recovery on the way for tomorrow. We will get in the positive territory with the air temperature, but wind chills will likely stay below zero all day long. Numbers stay into the single digits for most of us tomorrow. 
future track as we head into Friday and Saturday. The pattern turns more active. We'll have a weak disturbance rolling in Friday morning, which could give us a coating of snow for the morning drive. And then Saturday, a more potent system rolls through here. This indicating a decent amount of snow. We could see some snow accumulation out of this. Still a bit of a question, though, if we're going to see some rain and some snow. So still a little too early to talk about snowfall totals just yet, but something we are eyeing as we head closer to the weekend. Numbers should get closer to the freezing mark by Saturday 33. We'll be in the low 20s with some more Morning snow and then dry Sunday afternoon and much of next week below average teens and 20s where we should be closer to around 40 and we're going to be way Ooh. off from that tomorrow for yeah, sure. Yeah, missing the mark big time. Yep. All right, thanks Marcus. We'll be right back. Follow WMBD 31 News wherever you are on CIProud.com, Facebook, Twitter, or our mobile app. UFS, famous for deals on Adams Street, downtown Peoria, 10 minutes from anywhere. Remodel your kitchens now at UFS. For a limited time, kitchen cabinets are 50% off, plus free design. UFS, about 10 minutes from anywhere. Have you ever heard the term upside down? Well, when you go to trade in your used car, you don't want to hear that. At Green Chevrolet, we have a way for you to prevent that through leasing. Now, you can take your average tax refund and get a cruise for just $169 a month or a new Malibu for just $239 a month, plus you still get the Green's goods, the 995 oil changes, and so much more. We have a 2015 Silverado with the All-Star Package. You can lease it for $399 a month. You've got to go green. Improve the lighting in your home with Patriot Lighting from Menards. LED tape light is fully customizable and trimmable. This 78-inch tape light is $29. This 118-inch tape light is $39. Update your doors with new levers from Truebolt. This Borneo Passage lever in an oil-rubbed bronze finish is $14.99. This Victoria Passage lever in a satin nickel finish is $19.99. Save big money at Menards. Do you hate the hype around Valentine's Day? Did you buy her roses just like every other guy? You can still recover and buy her something green. Lease a new Ford Fusion for $149 a month, a new Escape for $179 a month, or a red Mustang for $229 a month. Lease a Ford F-150 for $259 a month, or $13,000 off your purchase price. Dazzle your Valentine when you save $4,500 off an Explorer, or lease it for just $269 a month. Nothing beats a green Ford deal. You've got to go to green. The KBL design team can transform your home from ordinary to extraordinary. Creative ideas and competitive pricing is what you'll find every day for your kitchen, home office, bath, or any other room in your home. Come see us at KBL Design Center. Taking action for you. This is WMBD 31 News at 6. When Jenny Klaus and her family adopted then 16-month-old Reagan, she wasn't able to sit up on her own. Yeah, but today things are different. WMBD's Rachel Kay takes a look at the progress she's made with the help of Easter Seals. Jenny Klaus admits she took some things for granted with her biological children. It seems like she was just laying on the floor and really not able to interact with them. Her adopted daughter, Reagan, wasn't able to play with her siblings the way any parent would hope. Oh, yay! Because Reagan has cerebral palsy, the family turned to Easter Seals for help. When I first started seeing Reagan, Reagan could sit pretty well, but that's about it. What started with belly crawling, moved on to crawling on hands and knees, eventually standing, and... At first it was a step, and that was exciting, and then it was two steps, and then it was three, and, and now she's, she's lapped the building and without falling. You're gonna go way down. Reagan's therapist, Gretchen Isley Meyer, says it's all about making the work fun. We want them to be very functional. We want them to be able to use their hands and to move and to be independent without having to think so hard about it. Surprisingly, Reagan's favorites are the weighted balls. She loves those, which is crazy because they're really heavy. It's really hard <laughs> to pick those up. The team effort between Easter Seals and home has made the difference. And now, Reagan is playing with her siblings. And now she's walking around the house, following them around and jumping in the jumpy thing with them and just interacting as if she were just like them. and. It's, it's neat for her to be able to have that with them. Reagan is already walking independently, but she might always need help with things like stairs. Don't forget, if you want to support Easter Seals and their work with kids like Reagan, you can tune into our telethon that's coming up Saturday, March 7th. ISU and Bradley will renew the I-74 rivalry tonight. Kurt Pegler has sports up next, but first, here's a look at the day on Wall Street.
In honor of our great American presidents, we're celebrating our great American lineup, the Jeep President's Day event. During the auto show, get $500 auto show bonus cash for a total of $2,000 cash allowance on Jeep Cherokee Latitude. For this President's Day, Honda is celebrating the way Americans celebrate best, with pyrotechnics. Because when you can get America's most trusted brand for an incredible deal, we think it's worthy of its own monument. Meet Mount Savemore. The Honda President's Day sales event, happening now at your Honda dealer. Due to popular demand, the President's Day Savings Event at your Central Illinois Ashley Furniture Home Stores has been extended. You now have a few more days to snag these presidential savings. Right now, save up to 20% off your entire purchase or pay no interest till 2020. That's right, save up to 20% off or pay no interest till January 2020. Every single item in our showrooms and sleep shops has been marked down. Hurry in now before these savings are gone for good. Going on now through Monday and only at your local Ashley Furniture Home Stores in Champaign, Peoria, and Bloomington. In the Midwest for 2015, Ford is unleashing the all-new 435 horsepower Mustang. Releasing the quick and nimble Focus with a new EcoBoost engine. Revealing the all-new technologically advanced Ford Edge. And breaking ground with the all-new high-strength aluminum F-150. No wonder Ford is the brand more people search, buy, and buy again. Now get a Focus with zero for 72 months or 3,500 cash and 500 auto show bonus cash plus a no-charge maintenance plan. Now, WMBD 31 Sports. It is rivalry night at Carver Arena. Bradley and ISU squaring off for the 120th meeting, but the current players and coaches aren't thinking about the history, just the present. And right now, both teams need a shot in the arm. Bradley's a half game out of last place in the Valley. ISU, meanwhile, has dropped three in a row to slip to fifth in the league. So Dan Muller and Gino Ford think the placement of this rivalry game on the schedule is perfectly timed. It's a distraction from our games, if that makes sense, because it's a rivalry game. Everybody wants to play. We'll be excited. All we're focused on is playing Illinois State. There's not any thought about what we've done the last three weeks. I said it before, this needs to be a bad time to play Illinois State, and that's up to our players. Um, I'm confident in them. I still love them, but it's, it's not okay to go on a three-game losing streak. It's an 8 p.m. start time at Carver Arena. We'll have the highlights for you tonight at 10. The IHSA State Wrestling Tournament begins tomorrow in Champaign. Dan Malloy tells us about two favorites from El Paso Gridley. One hopes to finish the season unbeaten. The other is following in his father's footsteps. Tristan Reeves and Hunter Santamore head to Champaign this weekend, each hoping to return with a state championship. It's going to take a lot of hard work and the dedication. Um, just got to put 100% into it. The two seniors have a combined record of 78 and 1, and Reeves has the chance to finish his season undefeated. Santa Moore says he surprised himself last year by taking third at state, but his father, his head coach, says it wasn't a surprise at all. I know what he can do. You know, just getting him to realize what he can do is kind of the tough job sometimes. You know, getting, getting a 17, 18 year old kid to realize, you know, how, how good he can be. Brady Santamore was an all-state wrestler in the 80s at Rock Island Alleman, but his son was slow to follow in his footsteps. That is, until he got a hang of the sport. Well, I didn't like losing. You know, I lost a lot when I was younger, but once I started winning, it started to get more fun. It's kind of hard to balance the two of them, you know, between parent and coach, you know, at home and here, and, and uh, it's difficult for him because I'm there every, every time he turns around. Brady Santamore would love for all three state-bound Titans to turn around and celebrate state titles, but all he can do is expect the unexpected. There's a lot of funny things happen down there. There's a lot of people go down there expecting to win and, and don't get what they expect. Dan Malloy, WMBD 31 Sports. Briefly, the girls' basketball postseason continues tonight with large school regional games. We'll have some highlights for you tonight at 10 o'clock. And finally, 
Who's that little eight-year-old in the Blackhawks bench? He's from Belvedere. Jordan King. He's granted a make-a-wish day with the Blackhawks and even scores a goal in practice oh, and then awesome. gets to go through the high five line. I'm telling you, he's the envy of everybody, I'm sure, at his great school. Very he cool. He looks so cool in yeah. that uniform. I love Very it. Very neat. All right, Tucker away. Mark is back right after this. Here's what you can see tonight on WMBD 31. New Thursday. Sheldon, open the door. I can't. I'm naked. When an episode is this revealing. Open the door now. Oh. Pull up your pants. It just might be too hot to handle. <clears throat> I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sorry I didn't have a camera. New Big Bang Theory. Then it's almost here and they're ready. Smile with your eyes, not with your teeth. Please don't be here. The Art Couple premiere Thursday after a new Big Bang Theory. It all starts CBS 8, 7 Central. The Lexus Command Performance Sales Event has begun. Command track-tested precision with the fastest-growing automotive luxury brand on the road, including the exhilarating IS, powerful GS, and first-ever RC Coupe. With more new models than ever, there's never been a better time to experience Lexus performance during the Command Performance Sales Event. Get great offers on our most dynamic models now through March 31st. Lease the all-wheel drive 2015 IS 250 for $349 a month for 36 months and we'll make your first month's payment. See you Lexus dealer. Welcome to the Dodge political race, and they're off. Washington's in the lead, the father of our country as a mother of a Hemi V8. Now Lincoln's issuing an acceleration proclamation. Roosevelt and Jefferson are taking a shortcut. Honest Dave isn't gonna like this. No, he's not, Jim. Oh, they're neck and wig. And at the finish, it's Mount Rushmore. The Dodge President's Day event. During the auto show, get 0% APR for 75 months, plus 2,000 bonus cash on Grand Caravan. Tell me everybody's fly. DJ spinning. I said, my, my. Flash is fast. Flash is cool. Francois, c'est pas. Flash, Jay, no, do. And you don't stop. Sure, Shh, we can hear her. Oh, yeah. The and you get in your car and you drive real far and you drive all night. And the 273 horsepower RDX from Acura. Visit Bob Lindsay Acura Emporia for attractive offers on the RDX. Taking action for you. This is WMBD 31 News at 6. All right, you thought it was cold today, going to get worse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What I a did, great I bared, lead in. I heard awesome. the bad news for you. <laughs> so, Marcus, uh, you take go. it away. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can only Marcus? go up from here, right? Uh, five below for the overnight tonight. 15 to 25 degrees below zero for those wind chills. We'll stay below zero with the wind chills all day tomorrow. We'll have single digits highs around eight. 22 then on Friday. Could see some snow showers late Friday evening. And then that could also carry over into Saturday, where we'll have a chance for, right now I'm saying a rain-snow mix, but some of the more recent model runs that are coming in, eh, painting more of a snowy picture. Still way too early to talk about accumulation. Something we're keeping an eye on, though, but winter flexing its muscle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Marcus. You thanks bet. for joining us. We'll see you right back here at 10. Don't forget, we're always on CIPrad.com. Good night. Good night. Good night.